Hi guys, so we're back and we're gonna start by creating a uh, creating the value z to equal 12. Now just make sure that your x equals 4 and your y equals 3. Now we want to get rid of the 3 down here and we want to put x and we'll just leave that. Now I was going to show you a little Java trick but I have just checked before and it doesn't actually work so I'm just going to do the multi-line comment here. Uh, in Java when you have lines highlighted and you hold down control while and pushed forward flash all those lines would be commented out. Code blocks is a bit different. But now we're going to run this thing. So we're saying x is equal, well, is equal to 2 and we know it's not so it's going to give us a 0. And now we will do a few more, just a few more little equations. Um, we're going to do a times b, actually, sorry, x times y, uh, z, and going to do is no, greater than or equal to z. Now we know that z is 12, so this is going to be correct, but if we get rid of the uh, equal sign, it's going to be incorrect. So it should be 0, 0, and then we've got zero, uh, 1, 0, 1 or something. Um, but if it's greater than or equal to, we're going to get 0, 1, 1, 1. So yeah, don't worry about these lower ones yet. Now we'll change one of these up. Now. We're going to do y plus 6 is not equal to a times c. Now this is correct because a times c winds up being 48, I believe. Why is that not working in? Oh, sorry, again bit clumsy, I've got a little bit of, my notes are slightly different to what I was using. I prefer to use the values x, y, and z, but I guess I was writing incorrectly recently. So yes, this is not equal to it. And we know this because, again, it winds up being 6 times 8 is definitely 48. So 4 times 12 is 48. Now, Sorry about that, I was just doing these calculations in my head. Now, hoping you guys can't hear this, but that was my washing machine. Now, before we sum all this stuff up, we want to b to equal 4, and we're just going to say that b, sorry, y is equal to 4, and therefore it is equal, well, which is equal to x. You know that this one's correct, or hang on. This one is actually correct, but oh yes, that's right, we've got a fifth one there, sorry. Bit clumsy. Bit to remember. There we go. First one is incorrect, and we know that, and all the others are correct. But we've got to keep in mind that all this stuff is going to be a bit weird at times. We're going to need to understand this, we're going to need to learn about it. It's not going to be all straightforward, so it might take some time, but the more practice you get at these kinds of things, it will make it much easier. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time, and remember to like and subscribe, and good luck.